Yeah. Right. So stop the side control. Hands are out. Okay, so I don't want to. If I bring his hand here, he snatches it. This arm's stuck out to dry too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the, the bad spot to a good spot for me. All right, so I'm going to add weight into my elbow here, my left elbow to the mat. So I'm going to push off this foot, driving my weight into my elbow here, just slightly. Starts making it heavy, so Chris can't pull his arm free. Now I change him holding me to me holding him a little. I'm going to take my ear to my shoulder here, pinch, and add weight into this arm so this arm can't come out. You pull this arm out. So now I've got his arm strapped a little, okay? Once this happens to him, two things are going to happen. His arms can't move, so he's going to want to either A, progress, most likely to mount, or B, go knee on belly, push on my belly, <coughs> pull his arms free. We'll push it a pull. <coughs> okay? So I've got those two options. I'm trying to steer him into one, one direction that I want him to go, right? So I add the weight. Makes it hard on him, right? I know he wants to go this way to mount or to knee on belly. So what I'm going to do is, as I feel him start to go, I'm going to raise this hip closest to his knee, right? Right now, if Chris raises his his knee to knee on belly, his hips don't get very high, right? But that's because my hips are low. If I raise my hips, he has to bring his hips higher to get on my knee, get his knee on my belly. Once I raise the hips higher and he starts to come this way, his hips are higher, right? Which allows me now to bridge and go with the direction he goes. And I take his weight over easier. That's all happens because his hips have to come higher to get knee on belly. If his hips are low and goes knee on belly, it doesn't work as easy. He has to bring my weight from this side all the way across. But if he makes me bring my hips high, nice easy go.